Chef Buck here and today we're going to cook up cube steak. Focus in on there and look how beautiful that is. It's beautiful and it's cheap. Or at least it's cheap for steak because it's kind of a tough cut of meat. You know, and it's very lean. There's not a lot of fat in it, so it's not as flavorful as some meats. But they run it through a machine. You know, kind of a mechanical tenderizer, which gives it those little square shapes. Which is why it's called cube steak. Cube steak. So because it's lean and it doesn't have a lot of fat in it, you know, we want to add flavor to it. A pretty common way uh, to add flavor to a cube steak is to bread it and then fry it. You know, and then that way you get kind of a little breading crust on there and the oil is in the crust and, you know, it has that nice fried flavor which enhances the meat and makes it luxurious and not as healthy. But, you know, you don't have to do that. You can just cook it up in a skillet just the way it is without breading it, you know, and then it'll be healthier and not as yummy. But that's a call you gotta make. But if you're a health nut, you don't like stuff that's all that yummy. That's why you look so good. So we're just gonna do a basic flouring technique on here. Boom, we're gonna crack us an egg and give that a little bit of a whiskey whisk. And I've got some all-purpose flour here. And this is already seasoned. I've already got a little bit of salt and pepper uh, mixed in with my flour. But I'm going to season up my meat a little bit more too, with just a little bit of salt and pepper. So the first thing I'm going to do is just flour up my meat. Get a light coating of flour on there. And then that's going to help the egg to stick to the cube steak. So then I will egg it up. Boom, boom, boom. And then I'll throw it back in my flour and re-flour it. So I was able to do all of my cube steak with just one egg. But sometimes you might have to crack you open another egg. And I got a little extra flour here, but that's good. Because we're going to use this seasoned flour at the very end to make a little bit of gravy. Because gravy is fantastic uh, with this kind of breaded country fried steak. Because like I said, you got to bring the flavor. Alright, so I'm going to heat my skillet up, or reheat it. As you can see, my skillet is a little dirty because I've already made bum 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 some mashed potatoes and a little bit of asparagus because I know I'm going to make gravy and gravy will be really nice with the mashed potatoes uh, but cube steak cooks up so fast you know I kind of like to have my other uh, parts of the meal ready before I start to cook the meat I think I need a little bit more oil in here boom 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 but it doesn't take a whole lot and I'm going to throw me a dash of butter in here just to add to the oil and add to the flavor and we'll just give this a few moments to heat up because you want to make sure that your skillet and oil is hot before you put your breaded meat in there. Otherwise, that breading is just going to soak up the oil and make it greasy. And you don't want that. You want it to start frying right away when it hits that skillet. I think our oil is just about hot enough. I went ahead and fixed me a plate with a little paper towel on it uh, to put my cooked steaks off to the side. So now we'll just throw our breaded steak in here. We're going to give it about three minutes on this side before we flip it. It doesn't take very long at all to cook, but you don't want to fool with it, you know, until that uh, crispy, crusty side solidifies into a crunchy, breaded delight. delight. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Alrighty, so it's been cooking for about three minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a turn. Let it cook on the other side. We're going to do the same thing and leave it alone and let it cook up and crisp before we fool with it anymore. It's like that old uh, Chuck Woolery uh, show, Love Connection. We'll be back at 3 and 3. <laughs> That's for the mature uh, members of the audience. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, so it's been about three minutes on that other side. I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the skillet. We'll set them aside. Let it drain on our paper towel. Boom, boom, boom. Looks super duper wunderbar. I'm going to reduce my heat down to medium. Go ahead and scrape the bottom off of my, uh, my pan here. And we got all these little bits in here and we got this oil. And see how much oil we have in there? We're going to add about that much more flour to our skillet. Going to make us up a gravy here. And that's pretty much what we got right here. 
maybe a little bit more so I won't put quite all this in here but we'll see and this flour is already seasoned with salt and pepper but I'll go ahead and season a little bit more too because we want our gravy to be super flavorful stir it around and let this flour soak up this oil and if you wanted more gravy you could add just a little bit more butter and flour to this but you want to have about equal parts uh, flour and butter or flour and oil I'm gonna use a little bit of half and half but you can use whatever kind of hoop to who you want you know if you just got plain milk that's alrighty so we'll go ahead and whisk this in here and I'm running a little bit hot so I'll lower it and you just want to add milk and stir it around until you get it to the consistency that you want your gravy to be alrighty so I've whisked it up it's got nice and creamy you can see it's bubbling away right there and just a little bit more to thin it out make me a little more gravy I'm gonna go ahead and turn my burner off and you could adjust the seasoning you know if it needed a little bit more salt and pepper I'd throw it in there but it tastes pretty good to me so I'll go ahead and get it off the heat these here have been resting so I'll give them a flip and I think that's it uh, we're ready to plate it up and have dinner alrighty so I'm gonna just plate me up a little bit of mashed potato throw me a hunk of chunk of meat on there a little bit of asparagus and you don't have to do all this with your hands but you can you can do that let me throw a little bit of gravy on here you can parsley it up a little bit to add a splash of color to it give it a little taste test here look how easily that cuts through there you know cubing the steak you know tenderizing it mechanically you know it takes this very lean tough piece of meat and makes it not so tough now look how easily the knife cuts through there that's all there is to this super simple cube steak recipe oh it's so tender uh, if you want to print this recipe go over to myfoodchannel.com you can print all our recipes over there i'll have a link down below i hope everybody's doing all righty we'll see you in the future bye bye